I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to evaluate an absolute value function. Let us take a few examples. So let us see what is absolute value of minus 7 equals to, what is absolute value of 5 equals to, what is absolute value of minus 7 minus 3 equals to and uh, let us also try to find absolute value of minus 4 minus of let us say minus 2 like that right so these are the examples which you will kind of do and understand how to evaluate absolute value of a function now as you know absolute value always returns you non-negative number so absolute value of a function is always non-negative right so we have non-negative so that is what our answer should be non-negative correct so minus 7 absolute value is plus 7 is already 5 the absolute value is 5 here minus 7 minus 3 if you do inside we get minus 10 and absolute value of minus 10 is 10 this one is kind of complicated let me rewrite this as uh, minus of uh, 4 minus what is the absolute value of minus 2 absolute value of minus 2 is 2 so we get it like this right and now we can go one more step we say minus 2 minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6 and as you know absolute value is non-negative so it is plus 6 so that is how you can actually easily solve absolute value or evaluate absolute value of a function right now let me extend this to general terms when I say from here that uh, absolute value of x is equals to 7 what does that mean well you have seen that absolute value of minus 7 is 7 so that means that x could be equals to minus 7 also right and of course absolute value of 7 is 7 so so that means that x could be plus 7 also correct so that is how you have to visualize absolute function so absolute value is non-negative when you do absolute of a negative number you get positive now here's a thinking question for you how will you find the answer for absolute value of x minus 2 equals to let us say 5 now if I give you something like this to solve, um, how are you going to solve it? Now as we have seen here in the above example, we could actually treat it as two different questions. One as x minus 2 equals to 5 and the other one is that x minus 2 is equals to minus 5. You get an idea about it, right? So, so that is how you should think about it. Absolute value is non-negative, right? So even if inside we have this as minus absolute 5 we we get 5 as a result which is same as uh, absolute value of 5 so that is the thinking so what are we doing here on the left side we are trying to find this value that is x minus 2 is minus 5 and on the right side we are trying to calculate this value that absolute value of x minus 2 is 5 so we are getting two different solutions, right? So let's do them one by one. So here solve like equations, which is x equals to minus 5. When you take it on this side, plus 2. And that is minus 3. And on the right side, what do we get? x is equals to 5 plus 2, which is 7, correct? So these are the two solutions. And you can always check your solutions, right? So let us check these solutions. So if I substitute minus 3, then what do I get? I get minus 3 minus 2, which is absolute value of minus 5, which is indeed 5. Correct? On the other hand, we have 7. So we have absolute value of 7 minus 2, which is absolute value of 5, which is indeed 5. Right? So both solutions are correct. I hope with this example, you understand kind of how to evaluate absolute value value of any given real numbers I should say and then how to solve simple equations involving absolute function. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos 
and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.